Hey everyone, I am here with Aaron, who is the owner of Mana Marketing. And Mana Marketing is a multimedia digital marketing agency that is dedicated to really growing your business through AI and paid ads. So today I have Aaron here and we are going to be talking about the importance of product imagery for ads specifically. So Aaron, you want to tell us a little bit about your background and go from there. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Carrington, again, appreciate you, uh, you having me today and taking the time. Uh, excited to be here. So um, yeah, really, I guess just a quick background, like you said, uh, you know, I've been running a, you know, direct response, digital marketing paid ads agency for, for CPG e-commerce brands for the past four years now, um, recently because of the whole AI craze, recently, you know, starting to kind of get into that space as well and learning how to help these brands acquire customers cheaper by using AI at scale. Um, but to get really to, to the topic of today, um, the way you want to think about it and the way I can kind of tie it into what both you and I really do at the end of the day is, you know, when you really boil it down to any brand running paid advertising campaigns, uh, uh, you want to think about it as, you know, very simply put, for every dollar that I put in, I want to be getting at least two, if not more dollars back out of my investment and marketing efforts, Right. And the way you do that is by optimizing your ad campaigns and your post click, uh, you know, whether it's your website or your landing page as much as possible. Um, that's really the kind of the two main components when it comes to really the advertising space in general. And the main way you do that is through the creative aspect. So, for example, part one of running your ad campaign, just to break it down in kind of a very basic format. Um, is, you know, you want to make sure that, first of all, you're stopping the scroll, right? When you think about when you're scrolling on Facebook or Instagram, what are you doing? You're looking at, you know, cat videos, family photos and, and, and pictures and whatnot, uh, you know, playing games or whatever you're doing, right? And you, um, you, you're basically competing with all of that other, you know, all these other assets that are drawing the attention away from what you could be potentially offering your customers, right? So, uh, that's number one. You want to have some sort of a visual that captivates and stops that scroll. And that, that's really kind of the first battle there. Um, and just to kind of put a, a specific metric to that, for those that don't know, you want to be looking at your click-through rate, your CTR, for that specific, um, you know, just to determine how effective your ads are when it comes to getting people off of Instagram and Facebook and onto your website at the end of the day. Then from there, it's really more about the basic principle of you want to make sure you're showing and not necessarily telling, if that makes sense. So when somebody lands, you know, from an ad, once you stop that scroll using product imagery, um, once they click off of that land onto the website or landing page, you don't want them to be bombarded with a wall of text at the end of the day, right? Nobody, nobody reads to, to that extent, especially when it comes to cold traffic, some, you know, somebody who doesn't know your brand yet, you're just drawing them in for the first time. You want something to jump out at them. People are, for the most part, visual, visual learners at the end of the day, want to see, you know, if you have like beautiful product imagery, the minute you land on somebody's website or a testimonial of some sort or a, an image that tells some sort of a story, that's really the most effective way to communicate your message and to ultimately get somebody to take the action you want them to take, which I assume is purchasing in this case at the end of the day. Um, does that make sense? No, it definitely makes sense. So when somebody is thinking about what image to use on an ad, how specific do they need to get? Because I have seen ads where, all right, you're selling a drink, but I'm seeing an eagle. And then I'm like, all right, there's a drink and I'm seeing the drink. So what is the difference between like the mindset bet between being hyper-focused on the imagery versus something a little bit more chaotic? Yeah, it's a good question. And to, to be completely honest with you, there, there is no right answer for or, or like magic bullet for every single brand, right? Every, every brand that, you know, different audiences that you're targeting, the behavior is going to be different um, from, you know, case by case. So the best way to do that is, is honestly, you, you want to be A-B testing different types of formats, right? So that, that's really the most effective way to think about approaching advertising, but advertising powered by the creatives that somebody like you would produce for somebody, right? So maybe one image would be more product focused, um, more straightforward. Maybe there's little graphics off to the side of like, you know, the, the, the different benefits of the product. But then you've got, you know, another image that you're, uh, you've got like on the B side of the, of the AP test, where maybe you're trying to appeal 
to, you know, middle-aged men, for example, you've got a product that appeals to middle-aged men for, you know, for, for whatever reason. And you just have an image of more like a lifestyle image of what your ideal customer looks like, maybe like a transformation type, like a little transformation story that, that you can somehow por portray in that image um, and really selling the transformation as opposed to selling the product itself. But again, every brand is different. The, you know, different audiences are going to resonate with different things. Um, so I would, I would definitely, in you know, my recommendation would a B test both angles and, and make sure you're doing your due diligence there. Awesome. So if anyone has any questions on how to get into paid ads, what visuals to use, or even the AB testing, how can I get in touch with you? Yeah. Yeah. Good question. So number one, you can go to uh, our website, manamarketingco.com. Um, not sure if you're able to like, you know, put a graphic or anything to my email down there or the website, but, um, that would probably be the best way to do so. And on the website, we have a call to action, uh, where you can go book a call with myself and I'd be happy to kind of walk them through anything they need there. Perfect. Thanks for coming on the show. Yeah. Thanks for having me, Carrington. Appreciate it.